In this video, I will show you how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. This video will help you to get lower input latency and overall better performance by optimizing your windows. And if you want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. It will only take you guys a second and it would help me also so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So before applying some of these tweaks, you guys might want to go ahead and create a system restore point, which you can do by going into your start menu and searching for create, then go ahead and open up create create a restore point. Select your windows drive, click on configure, turn on system protection and set the max usage to around 5%. Hit apply, hit ok, click on create and then go ahead and name it anything. I'm gonna go ahead and name it backup. Go ahead and click on create and that's basically it. That's how easy and simple it is to create a system restore point. Just in case that you guys don't like some of these changes, you can go ahead and use this restore point to revert back all of the changes. So once you have done that, hit close and hit ok and now we can proceed on with the video. So moving on you guys will need to download the fortnite season 8 fps pack which you can find on my discord server in the optimization packs channel or you can go ahead and download it from my website whichever one you want if you are downloading it from my website then go ahead and click on this thumbnail and then download it from there and if you guys are downloading from my discord you can just go ahead and navigate to optimization packs and then go ahead and download it from there so once you guys have downloaded the pack just go ahead and right click on it using 7zip or winrar whichever one you want go ahead and extract it so that we can use it then go ahead and open up the pack go into the folder and the very first thing that i want to talk about is major geeks so some of these tweaks are taken from their website so the link to their website is right here as well you can go ahead and check them out if you want and they provide very good documentation on tweaking and all that other good stuff so go ahead and check those out and first of all we are going to go ahead and apply the uac registry file so go into uac then go ahead and disable user account control double click on it hit yes hit ok this is going to disable that user account pop-up that opens up every time you try to open something as an admin and once you guys have applied this registry file you guys will need to go ahead and restart your pc so that the changes are applied otherwise you won't be able to apply some of the tweaks inside of this video so go ahead and restart your pc and then join in so once you guys have restarted your pc just go ahead and open up the back once again go into this folder and then go into the auto maintenance folder we are going to be disabling the automatic maintenance so that it does not run automatically in the background while we are gaming and just decrease the performance so just go ahead and double click on disable automatic maintenance hit yes and hit ok and now we have successfully disabled the auto maintenance then we go back into the pack and go into the core isolation inside of here we are gonna go ahead and turn off the isolation memory integrity because this is going to help us increase the performance now if you guys want to go ahead and read more on this you can go ahead and read more about this on the major geeks website because if i go into more detail then this video will be like 30 minutes long or something so i'm not gonna go into details and if any of you is interested in reading more about these tweaks you can go ahead and read it on major geeks website so double click on the turn core isolation isolation memory integrity off hit yes hit ok and that's it now go back into the pack and then go into the csrss folder inside of here we are gonna go ahead and apply the tweaked csrss.exe priority just keep in mind that for some people the default one may work better but for most people the tweaked one will definitely work better this is basically setting the priority to real time and this is basically setting the priority to normal so double click on this one right here hit yes hit ok and then we have applied it successfully in any case if you guys want to revert it, just go ahead and use the default one then go back into the pack and open up hibernation and i think by now all of you guys should know that we are going to be disabling the hibernation option this is just one of the basic tweaks that you should always apply after installing your new windows or even if you are using an older windows just go ahead and disable hibernation so double click on it hit yes hit ok and then we go back into the pack once again and open up the remove runtime broker so what this is going to do is actually i'm gonna go ahead and open up my task manager and if you look at your task manager you will find the same thing these runtime broker processes right here we are gonna be going ahead and removing them so because they are not necessarily needed after installation of windows and are just there eating up your resources so right click on it run it as administrator and that should be basically it then we go ahead and go back into the pack and go into the screen saver this is basically just a minimal tweak so that you can go ahead and disable screen savers it's not going to help too much but i would still recommend going ahead and disabling screen savers so that you don't have to deal with them later then go back and open up the task manager folder now this one is an optional tweak i would recommend disabling task manager however i 
myself make videos and i have to show my task manager so i'm not gonna disable it however if you guys want it you can go ahead and disable it and if you want to enable it back you can obviously go ahead and do that from here and an alternative that you guys can use is process explorer it's much better than task manager and will provide you more details about the processes the resources and everything like that so if you guys want you can go ahead and disable task manager i would recommend disabling it and using process explorer or any other process hacker or programs like that so yeah this is an optional one going back into the pack go ahead and open up win32 priority and you guys can notice that i have only provided one value here and that is 26 so the reason i have provided 26 here is because i know a lot of people are using so many different values and most of them don't even work so just to keep everything simple and to give you guys a value that will work for most of you here it is the 26 value so just go ahead and double click on it hit yes hit ok and you are done going back into the back once more going to windows ads and all of these registry files are going to disable the ads in windows except for this one because this is going to obviously enable the advertising id so we're gonna go ahead and disable advertising id hit yes hit ok and then windows 10 disable most of the ads go ahead and open up this one as well hit yes hit ok now restart your pc and you guys will find that any ad suggestions here or in the newer updates of windows in the widget section they will be gone then go back into the pack and open up the windows tweaks and the first thing that we're gonna be doing is clean the temporary files so right click run it as administrator press any key to continue and it is going to delete all of the temporary data the log files and all that good stuff then we're gonna go ahead and disable delivery optimizations just so that we can have more control over our bandwidth so double click hit yes hit ok fix mouse precision this is going to help you guys with the mouse input delay and we're gonna go ahead and double click on it hit yes hit ok full screen fix i know that a lot of you have already applied this so many times but just for the sake of this video and for the sake of those people who might not have applied it just double click on it hit yes hit ok then we're gonna go ahead and unpack all our cpu cores so double click on that hit yes and hit ok now one setting remains that is the audio settings so just go ahead and double click on it and it is going to open up the sound control panel you guys might notice that i only have one device here and one device here as well the reason for that is because i have unticked show disabled devices and that is what you guys should do as well i mean even if i did that i don't have any devices connected but for some of you guys you might have a list of devices here which you don't use so in that case i would just go ahead and uncheck show disconnected devices and also uncheck show disabled devices now that you have done both of those steps click on your speakers go into properties then go ahead and go into the enhancements and once you guys are here just make sure that all of this stuff is unchecked and disable all enhancements is checked once you have done that go into the advanced then go ahead and uncheck this and uncheck this as well and set this to the lowest quality then go into the special sounds and just go ahead and turn this off hit apply hit ok and then go into the recordings go into the microphone go into the advanced and do the same thing for here then go ahead and hit ok then go into the communications and just go ahead and set this to do nothing hit apply hit ok and you guys will see a tremendous audio delay difference after applying this tweak also i will link other useful guides that will actually help you gaining more fps and lowering the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i try to reply to every single one but i obviously can't because of my time and all that stuff and also if this video helped you then make sure to leave a like down below it would help me also so much and also subscribe to the channel guys if you want to see more videos with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome